Hey guys, it's Maka here bringing you another Nintendo Box video and I've really been wanting to go back to doing the occasional uh, just simply opinion based video for a little while now so this is going to be the first and hopefully they'll carry on but it's a topic that I actually just really wanted to talk about and that is Xenoblade Chronicles X which I've been pondering for a while and I can now say without a shadow of a doubt is the game I'm most looking forward to in 2015. It looks fantastic. And I just really cannot wait for this game, guys. So, let's get straight into it. In this video, I'm going to be talking about why we, as fans of Nintendo and fans of gaming in general, need Xenoblade Chronicles X, and why Nintendo and fans of Nintendo should be so thankful that a company like Monolith Soft is part of Nintendo now. So, I'll just get into it, guys. And my first point is the they're the only Nintendo dev team that actually has a huge history of open world games with massive scale RPGs. The Wii U not only needs more RPGs with, at the moment there only being some more small uh, indie RPGs, and of course you could count Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate if you wanted to. Personally, although that I recognise that as an RPG, I still think that it's not really a game I'm interested in. I'm interested in more of a traditional kind of adventure RPG, if you will. And the Wii U definitely could do with that. That is a demographic of... That is kind of a set of games which Nintendo fans actually do like, and it's a shame that we kind of don't get them at the moment. So it's awesome that Monolith Soft are coming out with Xenoblade Chronicles X. And they're kind of our saving light and with this kind of stuff. And to be honest, they're possibly the best company to do RPGs now. Square's kind of waning with it all and the last few Final Fantasies have been kind of a swing and a miss. And to be honest, Monolith Soft actually has a lot of the talented Square staff that did make the original Final Fantasies. So... I think that this is just a brilliant company and I'm so glad that Nintendo have them because these games that are coming out, Xenoblade Chronicles X and of course I've got to go back and play it, I really do need to, I missed out on it and when I eventually get a new 3DS I will play it on that, Xenoblade Chronicles, awesome games and I really cannot wait for Xenoblade Chronicles X, I cannot say that enough. But let me move on to my second point that I have down which is that this scale of the game is just huge and we just we don't have a game like that on the Wii U and it shows off just how much you can do with the Wii U and I really appreciate that as someone who knows that the Wii U actually does have a bit of horsepower behind it and that it can actually shift some good graphics and a massive scale of game so this is uh, just pushing the Wii U to its limits and I love that about it, it's so cool I love everything about this game. Damn it, I love everything about this company, even just in theory. And also, Monolith Soft, actually, they don't get a lot of appreciation for this, but they do a lot of the work behind the scenes on the technical side of software. Back in the Wii generation, Monolith Soft did a lot of work for an engine that many Wii games, first party Wii games that is, took a lot of assets and uh, just features from that engine and used it to its full extent which is awesome and uh, Monolith Soft kind of put the basis out for a lot of first party Wii games back in that generation which is is really cool to me and that's awesome also on top of that they actually did a lot towards Super Smash Bros Brawl I know definitely and also I think they actually contributed to Wii U and 3DS Smash Bros as well and also they do have a part to play in the Mario Kart series with uh, contributing to Mario Kart 7 and A I I believe which is awesome they just do like little parts here and there occasionally you'll see a studio like Rare do this as well and it's kind of nice to have that integration and Monolith Soft definitely contribute a lot to the company. It's really good that they are a part of Nintendo because they are just a wonderful, wonderful developer. On top of that, I'm pretty sure, now this could be wrong and it's very possible that it's wrong, I don't know anything and uh, I'm often wrong with these kind of things, but 
I can predict that Zelda U and uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X will be running on the same engine. I think that that makes sense to me. I think that Monolith Soft will have been working on the engine since uh, Xenoblade Chronicles release on the Wii. And you've got to think, guys, that released in Japan God knows how long ago. Was that like 2010, maybe 2009 even? It was some time around there. It was really early, and then it took a while to come to Europe, and then finally North America. So they've been working it a while, and they did actually come out and say that they'd been working on the basis uh, of HD games to uh, kind of get a good engine in there, and then they could just make games quicker and uh, have a good basis for the games. And they did make that a point of saying a while back in an interview I remember reading. And I think that it's a high possibility that Zelda U will be running off the same engine. Because why wouldn't it be? That seems like the logical step. Why make two engines when you can have Monoliths off making an engine for massive open RPG action adventure games and just use the same one? It makes complete sense. And that's why Zelda U may well be quite a large scale game as well. So I don't really have any more points to be honest with you guys and I'm sorry if you think I've just been fanboying over this video I've not actually ever played a Monolith Soft game so I'm just going to straight up admit that but in theory and as a company they just really really excite me and I haven't got to play good JRPG in so long now and I'm really, really excited for Xenoblade Chronicles X. I will be getting that hands down on day one. And I cannot wait, guys. What do you think of Xenoblade Chronicles X? I'm sorry if you think I've just been going a bit crazy in this video. I'm really excited for that game. And it's been so long since I've played a good JRPG. So please just comment down in that section below what you think of Xenoblade Chronicles X, what you think of Monolith Soft, are they a good company, is it going to be an awesome game? And uh, also guys, what is the game you are most looking forward to in 2015? I would love to know that. Please uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video guys. I've been Maka, bye.